Hello everyone, I'm Fionn Bell and the Associate Editor of ICES, the Inter International Council for the Exploration of the Sea, based at the Secretariat in Copenhagen. I'm here to talk about our project to rebuild our institutional online library using the tools provided by a new platform and the knowledge and interest from my colleagues, plus ICES experts to aim for fairness in our science, data and advice publishing. So ICES is an inter intergovernmental uh, marine science organisation meeting societal needs for impartial evidence on the state and sustainable use of our seas and oceans. Uh, this is from our website. <laughs> um, in consultation with the ICES network, particularly the Science Impact and Publications Group, we commissioned the new ICES library platform and that started in 2019. The aims was to improve access to our science data advice and data products making sure that we adhere to fair principles um, because of the partners we work with and their funder needs and to allow for the tracking and analysis of ICES impact. So the point here in this diagram, this bit, um, this is what you were looking to do mostly with our new library, knowledge creation and sharing, um, allowing for evidence-based scientific advice. There you go. So um, just the main point, so starting with findable, um, we have been using DOIs since 2017 for publishing data, in that case advice, data products and other publications. This new platform continues minting data site DOIs and integrates the ICES branding into those DOIs. So for example, ICES.pub, ICES advice, things like that. Um, in the new system, DOIs are now minted together with all the published items metadata as part of the release workflow. Um, this may not seem uh, that groundbreaking, <laughs> but it is uh, important and a change from what was uh, was happening before. So custom fields were added in um, how we set it up to make it extra IC specific and um, specific to the different kinds of publications we have. So for example, requested by or contributing authors. The library supports simple and advanced searches and is indexed on search engines. We have a lot of different users and stakeholders at ICES, so managers and administrators, so a different sorts of people use our library. Um, <laughs> so this means varied search skills and patience. So quite a lot of the feedback we got in building and now that it's live is how many clicks does it take to get to get me to here? Because some people um, are fine with a few clicks and some people just want it right there. So we have to deal with it with that. <laughs> um, all data can be retrieved by the permanent identifier, so it means it's accessible. In our case, it's predominantly DOIs. The portal is accessible here, so that's the URL. So it's Figshare is the platform that we use, and they have a very open e API, um, so we can also retrieve records in that way. We have uh, platform storage through them. They they are pretty foolproof, I hope. <laughs> I'm hoping, um, but they do add and they have an X option for extra preservation through the Archivum system if we wanted it. Um, we haven't made any decisions about that yet, but maybe in the future. Um, what we come across is that since moving to the new platform in early 2022, there's lots of legacy documents around the internet with links to our old library. Um, and since closing that down, we have had quite a lot of con contact from people going, ah, you know, you've closed your library, or now I need to log in, and what's going on here? Um, that was unfortunately inevitable, really, but I like to see it as an opportunity for communication training and hoping people get in touch with us. So that's the silver lining on it. <laughs> so that's accessible. Interoperable and reusable. These two screenshots are from the Figshare website um, showing what the new platform gives us. Um, the existence of metadata, of metadata schema is very good. Um, it is a very long, I think, work in progress, um, adding, mis much, adding missing keywords and categories to all publications to make them more discoverable. And the ICS data center have been using vocabularies for a long time, and we are trying to um, align ourselves with what they use, for example, species names and stock codes. <laughs> and from 2021 onwards, all ICS publications are published with a CC BY license. And we can also add uh, other licenses to the platform pretty easily. So from pre-2021, 
we have IC's custom license, which is just a easy way of saying, look inside the cover of the publication um, or ask I us. <laughs> and so some challenges we came across since launch in uh, early 2022, um, essentially, we need a T-shirt explaining why we use DOIs as permanent identifiers. identifiers. Data users and researchers are a bit more used to them because they work with them all the time. Um, but some some other some other of our users um, have to be sort of. We need to explain uh, the the use to other people. Um, we have to explain that it's not a good idea to download all the documents in PDF format um, and just look at them that way because of course they, they lose the chance to get updates and corrections and also all the metadata. Um, yeah, we luckily the platform makes it a bit hard to do that actually in bulk, so it makes it a good opportunity just to explain. Um, we say that we're sorry you can't find it quite often because the ICES is a very, very old institution from 1898, um, so it is a very complex, complex uh, project. And we have to um, to ask quite often where does this link go because the working documents are sometimes hidden behind um, passwords and yeah we try to make everything as accessible as possible. Some wins that we have we can now see our statistics much easier with using DOIs. Um, it's been a very good opportunity for communication with users that um, we haven't heard from before which has been great and uh, get nice feedback and constructive constructive ideas and projects. Um, the focus on permanent identifiers allow us to track impact and bibliomatic, tra bibliomatic tracking as well. And just personally, um, for my colleagues and I, it's been a really good chance for personal learning and skills building um, and really getting to grips with fair concepts in a practice in the workplace. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, I'm open to questions. <laughs>